Records Quick Hits High School Football Preview. This time it's the Sac Joaquin Section Playoff Edition. There are 11 local teams in the mix and five local teams host first round playoff games on Friday. Right, and there are four local teams in Division I of the Sac Joaquin Section. Tracy earned the number seven seed. It'll host number 10 Turlock. That's a rematch from the regular season. Tracy won 43-41 on the road as quarterback Michael Brown threw for three touchdowns. Well, we came out really hot. Uh, it was like 21-0, I think. And then they started coming back. Uh, we couldn't really, if you watch a film, we couldn't really stop the quarterback when he would drop back, he would move around. But we weren't uh, that well uh, uh, disciplined back then, so we would just dive at him. But now we know more to shadow him and don't let him throw, make him throw the ball and keep tight coverage on the receivers, and we should be good. Tokay earned the number 13 seed in Division I and goes to a high-powered offense in number four Merced. The Tigers looking to build on their one playoff win in program history. And senior wide receiver LJ Reed finished the season with two touchdown catches against Lodi. I heard they're very talented, but if you just work as a team, we should be good. I mean, it's not going to be easy, so it's whoever can play the best on that, on that day. So this team is very fun to play with. I mean, it's getting me focused a lot more as a player, too, be a more team player. So. I'm glad I came over here. Chavez got the number 14 seed as the San Joaquin Athletic Association champion. Heads to another Sacramento area power in number three, Granite Bay. The Titans win 7-3, and three, and senior tailback Priest Jennings has been among the section's rushing leaders, though he did get injured in a Week 10 game. They play fast, aggressive, they work hard, and I think we just got to come out with great attitude and we got to come out and execute. We can't be scared, we can't like back down to them, we got to play our hearts up. Our attitude's gotten way better since the summertime. Attitude, work ethic, we work together as a team, and I think that's what helped us produce and get all these wins under our belt. Stag got the number 16 seed in Division I after a huge Week 10 win over Chavez. They play an amazing quarterback, senior Jake Browning for Folsom, over 3,500 yards, 56 touchdowns to four interceptions. We became more of a family, I think, and we started winning games at the end of the season instead of beginning. So we started working, more, working together more. All the seniors, wanted, we wanted to win, so, and we want to go to playoffs before we leave. Uh, I think we can beat them if our secondary steps up and our O-line holds their D-line. Down in Division Two, St. Mary's, after going 9-1, and one, earns the number three seed, hosts number 14, River Valley of Yuba City. The Rams outscored their Tri-City Athletic League opponents by 171 points during a 5-0 and game. Last year was pretty, pretty different, but this year we're more motivated, more into what we're supposed to do. Our seniors, we've seen what happened last year, so we just um, had to talk with all the juniors, sophomores that are on the team now. We just basically told them, this is what we're going to do, this is what we're going to do to uh, succeed this season, and so far it's, it's working. Green Machine, they're the best section, best uh, cheering section in uh, San Joaquin, honestly. They could be in California, I don't know, but they're, they give us a lot of energy. Down in Division Three, a couple of Manteca-based teams get home games. Sierra, the number two seed after splitting the Valley Oak League title with Oakdale, they'll host number 15, uh, Rosemont of Sacramento. Uh, we expect what we expect from every other team, a uh, good game, competition, uh, and them to bring it to the house and play with all they got and just give us a good game. I feel like it's honestly the team bonding that we have. We all work together. Uh, we don't just rely on one person, we rely on everybody to do their own part. It makes it a lot easier on everybody else. Manteca, the defending Division III champion, a four seed, gets number 13 Vanden. Interestingly enough, Manteca coach Eric Reese 0-2 against Vanden in his tenure coaching the Buffaloes. We know that, you know, they're, they're pretty fast, so we have to be able to tackle. That's what uh, we're focusing a lot more on, tackling in open space. You know, I think we're, that's what's going to see who, who wins the game. Hector, he's set goals for himself and, you know, He's trying to reach those goals, and I think he's already got, you know, his 1,000 yards he wanted. And, you know, he's just trying to, he's just working hard. Three more local teams playing this week. Escalon in the number four seed in Division Four at host center of Antelope. Rippin Christian goes on the road to Golden Sierra of Garden Valley. And Brookside Christian down in Division Seven goes to Woodland Christian. And for all your high school sports coverage, not just high school football, you can pick up a copy of the record. Go on over to recordnet.com. Go to our blog, recordnet.com slash sportsblog, and you can follow me on Twitter at Record Prep. And we now have two high school football chats, Prep Talk, Tuesdays at 9 p.m. Bring your questions about the high school football playoffs, NorCal Bowl rankings, and on Friday night at 7.30 p.m., the high school football scoreboard. Updates, photos, videos, and more. Everything you need for your Friday night. <laughs> Yeah.